Hi, I'm Lalit Mohan. Welcome to the out of box user desktop experience. This is how the Azure virtual desktop looks like. It's a combination of desktop and apps related to my role or the courses that I may be taking. It can be orchestrated to look different for different people by their role. This is my Windows 10 desktop loaded with work applications and also fun stuff. like this virtual reality application which is running on my virtual desktop i could also be given specific applications like this notepad plus plus editor or just the team if my role requires so Let's peek at the demo infrastructure. This is Active Directory components, which authenticate the user's final login to the session host. It syncs authentication information to Assure AD to provide the user information on their entitled workspaces, apps, and desktops upon first login, if necessary, using multi-factor authentication. Here are the components that create the Azure Virtual Directory service. You can see storage account, Azure Key Vault, VM and its components, host pools, DevOps organization for deployment, pools, etc. This is the host pool. It consists of two session hosts, both of which are available at the moment. You may add, if you like, more host from the Azure gallery or using the custom images. There are three applications available organized into two groups. These are desktop and remote uh, application groups for app segregation and isolation. Common app like Teams, etc. can be in the desktop application group and course specific or work role specific apps can be assigned using the resource application groups. So here we have two applications, um, Microsoft Teams and Notepad. And these have been assigned to the user, the test user in this demo case. Azure DevOps, or also known as ADO, is a powerful automation tool that was leveraged to deploy this demo Azure virtual desktop setup using PowerShell script. This is the project summary here. Uh, which shows that the language used was PowerShell and uh, actually it failed a few times during deployment. Here is the view of the repository. So you can see the code, the PowerShell code here, and we can step into a few of the directories to look at the uh, PowerShell scripts that was used to set up the environment before execution. Uh, we can look at the modules, a uh, couple of interesting uh, scripts. If we can take a look, let's look, take a look at script here, user creation. So this script was used for user creation and so on. Going to the pipeline section, we can see the pipeline here and clicking on it, it gives the details. Here you go, the different jobs that were executed uh, in this pipeline. Um, starting with uh, input parameters, creating a storage uh, account, creating of host pools, creation of se session hosts. That's where the virtual machine was created and it took the most time, almost about 20 minutes. You can actually step into this and see the detailed messages and the outputs of various commands inside these shell scripts. Going further down, we can see, and let's step back. Uh, this is where the uh, desktop app group and remote app uh, group was created and finally followed by the creation of the uh, workspace which is what a user sees when they are assigned to it and they log in the pipeline based job execution is a very powerful and repeatable automation tool approach which is key to make and maintain uh, production deployments possible thank you for watching this short video